Yo, everybody. Just one second. Sorry about that, guys. Let me know if everybody can hear me. Welcome back. If we are good to go and you guys can hear me, see me well, then you guys know what time it is. It's time for Micro Mondays. Shout out everybody who's tuning in early. We got a big show tonight going on, as always. And uh, looks like we're good to go, so welcome, welcome. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Let me know what you guys were up to over the weekend. What were you guys doing? Did you guys get any crawl time in? Hit the comps up. Uh, you guys got any wrenching in, building in, new projects? Shout it out. I was actually lucky enough to get the new build out in the wild. We'll take a quick look at that. But uh, special guest club rc tonight hope you guys are tuning in you guys could be walking home with one of the new sr5 bodies and i do see dirt mcgird is on now we've been having uh trouble with instagram live lately we can't uh well me personally i can't see dirts from this time we sent him the invite if not though hopefully you guys can see both of us but everybody's in the chat tonight. Won my local comp. Oh, Athos links. Oh, shout out if you guys are rocking and waiting for the Athos build. And Mark, if you do join, if you're having trouble, let me know if you can't join. I'm going to try and send you the invite real quick. Once more. That must mean that we can't see him. Hopefully he got the invite. Keel's in the house. J-Team's in the house. Bulldog Dude. in the house. And there he is. Mark is in the house, but no screen for me. What the, the actual fuck? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> I mean, let's just keep it rolling. No, I don't. This doesn't make any sense. No. no. Doesn't. Um, but what is up, brother? How is everything? How was your weekend? And was good? Still in the middle of my weekend, actually. Oh, oh I like to hear that. Finish nice. Out, finished a big, big project at work, kind of kicked my ass, but I said, I'm going to cash in some PTO and just oh, chill for four days. There we go. Everybody probably deserves a little vacay if you can. I think now's the perfect time, especially fall's beginning. The winter builds are about to be starting soon. Uh, looks like in the chat, there's been a new SCX24 axles. Yes. There are new SCX24 axles from Mias. Um if you guys have those ordered, it looks like some of you guys have been getting those axles in already. I actually Mine did have to get a set, Mark. How about you? Mine landed in LA yesterday. So it should oh, be good. no this way. Yeah. I don't I'm gonna know when you ordered, but I think I ordered last week. Yeah, I think... I ordered them after the show last week, so not bad. Nice. Post Tuesday. it on Dollar Crawler's story if you guys want to check them out up close. <clears throat> and oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess everybody is pretty curious about the uh, oh. isometric dual CVD setup with the ultra extreme steering radius, 52 degrees, they claim. So that's pretty crazy. Um, I think I'll probably get mine then this week. Did you happen to grab any little scale mail uh, this past week, Mark? Uh, um, just a new screw kit. Nothing crazy. Nice. Yeah. 
Oh, oh wait. Well, as I haven't gotten yet, but <clears throat> I heard of the new SR5. Oh yeah. Somebody's going to walk away with an SR5 tonight. But definitely we'll, we'll definitely uh see what Flub has been up to in a little bit, guys. Coming up, he actually teased like a new body. I think that's that called the M715. Well, we'll definitely have to take a look at that in person. Um, coming back to Flub, people were asking me over the weekend when I was driving this truck, the Northwest Chassis Works Athos, and you know it's the AM t body guys it's the re-release kind of just laid down some primer and got it on the rocks <laughs> but people were wondering about this grill and they were saying hey where where do you get that from and uh this is actually an old school flub rc back in the day when it was you know chris carruthers or flubber stuffers whatever you want to call it um he actually designed this for this body right here which was the og hilux that he made ah that's right i forgot about that so back in the day i kind of you know chopped the fenders a little bit cut it a little bit more narrow and i made this little styrene grill or bumper whatever you want to call it and he actually offered to design a little something, so he came up with this. So I've had it for a, a while now, and it, it works perfectly on an AMT Toyota, guys, if you want to do a little pinch. Um, maybe we can bug them when we see them later today. Maybe that'll be an item. Who knows? But he's been pushing out a whole bunch of stuff. Gathering parts for my Athos XL. Yeah, looks like a lot of people. Hell yeah. We're grabbing Athos's, <laughs> Athos chassis this weekend. Um, Fineland wants to donate one for a giveaway. Oh, wow. Let's do that next week. What does he want to donate? An Athos. Either tonight or next week, but who? I'll say what we got going tonight? No, Brandon, front line. Oh no way! <clears throat> Damn. All right, maybe we might have time to uh, squeeze it in either tonight or next week, guys. Stay tuned for that. But I did a poll mark on my story last week on Instagram about the Athos, and it was a poll saying you know what setup are you guys what uh version are you guys going to build first and over 50 votes mark the uh xl version saw that was the popular choice do you have uh you don't have the xl huh but i didn't build a prototype one we happened so fast but i do have my regular one Right there in the front. You can't see it, but it's there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My XL is somewhere. I will be building both full production ones, though, for sure. Yeah. You know, we were testing the right XL. Out. A few of us. And uh, XL performs pretty insane, too, guys. So we got, they have a blend of whatever you need. Northwest Chassis Works. Check them out. The pre-order is, I don't want to say almost sold out, but I think from what I, I've heard, it's getting close. So for a first, first drop for a brand new chassis, it's pretty pretty cool. And they should be dropping, you know, start shipping within a, uh, another week or week and a half, I, I believe. So I think everybody's right. excited about that. The carbon, uh, the chassis is carbon, guys. Yep. So what you see here is the prototype version. So don't mind that. They will be carbon rails. 
Excel definitely has that crazy reach. Uh, pairing it with that breakover that you guys get. I mean, like my camera can focus somehow. There we go. Yeah. It works pretty good. I, uh, I mean, I was driving with my buddies. This is on straight axles, stock straight, straight axles, narrow width. Uh, tiny J Concepts tusks, the 52 millimeters. Of course, they have flub slime balls in them. Uh, stock length oil shocks. And Mark, when I was, when I say that the XL, uh, like the longer wheelbases, they really have have a little bit harder time hitting those super steep breakovers. But this thing was almost keeping up with portals and big tires. And basically, it wasn't keeping up; it was surpassing. So, oh, I believe it. Tiny tires, straight axles, regular size as Athos. Watch out, guys! These things are insane. Um, Mine's really similar to your setup too. Home, yeah, Sofi, right. Tech, uh, Tuss, and, and I got the Pro Line big bores instead of the off racing. Oh, nasty. Nice. So, yeah, pretty much the same setup. <clears throat> I'll just transfer everything over when we get the production chassis. Yeah. I, I don't think uh, I see Keel in the chat. He's ready to build another 24, Hell finally. Yeah, so, let's see. Maybe, don't make me order an XL. Let's yet. take a quick look at the XL real quick. When I put it, I'll try right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already lost it. So you could see the breakover. It's nice and insane. It's got 11 degrees uh, angle skid, double bend links in the back. So you're basically getting almost all chassis straight up here in the swooping angle. It's going to be good for those long wheelbase setups that you guys like. And... I think what I'm waiting for to rebuild it is just like you guys. I'm actually waiting for the Mias uh, straight axles to come in. Then I will set this one up again, and and that's probably going to be my go my setup for the uh, final version that's coming. We're on the same page there. Yeah, <laughs> use those for that, and then the new SR5 body, and then when I was thinking of using since I haven't seen a lot of people have the opportunity to get these yet because I think we're all a little timid or <laughs> either bummed out or just haven't tried them but these are the 57 millimeter tusks and you know I have them in here actually with some v22s guys flub inserts slime balls v22s and you could see the sidewall while it gives you that little air gap it's pretty nice and really soft on the compression. And so V22s or V28s, guys, will probably be your best bet. And if you guys plan to stick with uh, Traxxas style wheels, such as like these plastic method beadlocks, and Mark, you saw those uh, Samix beadlocks I sent to you? Yeah, those are dope. Yeah, those are dope. So they have a uh, actual Traxxas style uh, metal wheels, guys, and those will be a lot more suitable to mount the tires. Only because we've been, uh, I mean, they advertise it for the TRX4M. So the bead on the actual tire is much thicker than, say, uh, uh, this Enjora mini pin tire. You can see that the bead is nice and flexible, super thin to clamp onto the ring. Whereas, I don't think I have another set open, but where is that? Yeah, I'll have to probably open one later. These on the uh, the inside bead is a lot thicker, definitely. Let's see. Eight degree angle skid for the OG RC chassis. Not that I'm aware of. <clears throat> I don't even know what that one is. 
Do you? Is it like an Enjoro one or something? Um, the OGRC, I believe that's the same similar chassis as the uh, Mias LCG Enjora LCG frame with the eight degree skid, the eight degree uh, flat skid area. But it looks like in the chat, guys, Fine Line Crawlers is asking, what do you guys want him? to give away a regular size Athos chassis or an XL Athos chassis. Let's see some comments, guys. Um, what I, I did get a couple of things over the week, Mark. As we can see, we talked about 3Flow 9RC last week on the show. And right here, here what I have in my hands is the uh, wind inch on axle mount this is their printed version when it was you know just announced here's an example of how it's set up guys with the nsdrc combo rs40 nano winch and the rs100 micro winch well mark i did splurge i just got to see what it, what's going on first of all for the winch i did have to uh grab one of the these land anchors, the flow land anchors. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to put the winch set up yet, but if you guys like your winch styles and you like 110, these big land anchors, Mark, this thing is nice quality machining and, and it's definitely going to grip wherever you're gonna go wherever you're gonna hook it even on just one tooth it's already digging into my skin and you can hook it this way on the little hook or on the shovel it really digs helps dig into bigger crevices on the shovel area and even if it falls you still have these extra little counterpoints to catch you and kind of the key to these big winch hooks, Mark, or these land anchors is what they call it, is, oh, almost dropped it. Usually in like the 110 scale, they have some sort of mount where you can put, say, like a hair tie, like a little bungee, and then you can pull the winch line, and then instead of it like hooking and breaking something, the winch line will give you that elastic little give so you know when to stop and then I'll just hold the anchor down here or somewhere wherever you want to mount it it is, is uh, made of titanium we can weigh it real quick I actually finally have my scale handy what do you think about these little anchors mark those are cool and uh, it's weighing in at 4 grams guys so four grams it's not gonna hurt check them out at three flow and then guys if you really want to reduce your weight setup uh, dial in the weight bias for your class three or four wheel steer rigs this is a pretty cool little product I actually just have to kind of check it out we have a special little mini servo mount. There is. I didn't even know that. It's made of aluminum, Mark. It has anti-squat. Did you get the servo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you right now. It has <laughs> anti-squat adjustability right there. So you can set your uh, anti-squats like a built-in link riser, if you would say. And they offer the little Cascade Micro HV servo guys. So these are smaller than your normal size micro servo. But they aren't going to pack as much power as the micro servos. So as you can see here, we have from... As powerful as 8.4 volts, it will operate at 41 ounce inch 
so that's enough to just turn the rear tires guys if you're not looking for speed if you're just looking for precision or something to just get it turning where you need it to be and hold it i think this will be a pretty cool uh idea and if you pair this mount with this servo i believe I believe the total weight is about 25 grams, they say. So <coughs> it's a lot of weight uh, reduction right there, guys. And Mark, the reason why I'm also bringing it up too is that there's actually a few other companies that um, are get, so it looks like they're getting into the nano servo options that we could potentially use for something like that. Now that there's a a servo mount offered guys there's actually a uh, tried and true pn racing you guys heard of them mark they actually have yep. i can pull it up right now too they have a new, new pn racing uh sub micro servo also boasting 41 ounce inch and and high voltage as well so i think people are starting to notice these little servos here it is right here guys i'll show you right now let me move over here i think the really impressive thing is that the segment of the market hasn't slowed <clears throat> damn this <clears throat> just keeps it's expanding slow. like crazy yeah so you have uh, yeah uh, the, the mini z and servos yeah basically. Right. Yep. so has all the specs on the uh site but it's the anima v3 guys so check that out too but i'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch of other companies trying to dive into the maybe smaller uh servo area because you never know i mean we keep progressing with these nano winches now we what do you what would we see with these smaller servos maybe like i think you should clarify that you're using that for rear steer i think people are trying to say that for, for uh using them for front hmm. oh yeah this would be uh best suited for the rear, rear steer for sure so front yeah. Yeah. we still recommend that you run you know the regular micro size servos and and uh what was I going to say? Let's see. Yeah. What were we going to see? Maybe like a shift servo, a dig servo from those little, those little tinier servos now. What could we implement into the uh, micro realm for those servos, guys? Shout it out. So, shout out to 3Flow. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, um, let's see. Oh. I know what we got right here, Mark. See what I'm rocking tonight? We've got the comfy mouse pad. Oh, yeah. Cow, Cow RC, guys. Now, if you want, want to take, say, if you're like, like uh, you know, they offer the sick ass white work mats, guys, magnetized, laminated, protected. But if you're like more of a stealth kind of guy, like a little bit more, more on the darker side. Well, Cow RC just got something for you. This is actually the new Stealth Series work mats and flat mats, guys. You can see how crazy cool that shine is, that gloss laminate protection. So this is, of course, <laughs> first magnetized mark. Are you a black kind of guy or a white kind of guy? Dude, all black, everything. You know, it still offers pretty, pretty clear visibility, guys, for projects you're working on, especially if you are one to be changing out to say a lot of stainless hardware or you know the silver hardware it's magnetized guys so even if there's uh you drop one of these little screws 
and you're working in this area, it's definitely going to be right in one spot. And Cow RC is blessing the Micro Mondays community, guys, as you already know. But they want to give you guys a brand new small flat mat, the new Stealth Series, guys. So stay tuned. We probably might not have time this week to do a giveaway for the Cow RC, but um, for sure next week and uh, in November, we got four lucky winners, guys. So one will pick a winner each week. But guys, these are sick, super, super shiny. I like the gloss oh personally. God, <laughs> to the chat yeah oh i was just reading someone's handle stunts mcgrom that sounds funny i like that oh my boy stunts oh shout out you know that dude yeah okay yeah but yeah yeah stay tuned guys thanks to cow rc always giving back to the micro monday community appreciate you guys yeah um, cow the shit. yeah and if you guys are worried or wondering if you missed a giveaway, don't worry. That's why you got to tune in. But no, you guys have not missed the giveaway. We're about to bring on our special guest pretty soon. If you guys are curious what we are giving away tonight, we have not, not this one right here, but a newly remastered version of this. This is the flow. Club SR series, guys. This is perfect for your Gladiator or Power Wagon upgrade. You guys can tell. You can literally just swap it over. It's pretty much the same wheelbase. I completely forgot you got a Power Wagon. <laughs> well, it's my son's. I don't touch it. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, in your stable. At least. Yeah. Fine. But I, I still got to get these shocks. I for, keep forgetting. I'll probably have to grab oh, them tonight. Are they selling those separate now? Yeah, they are. Oh, cool. What, um, what you guys have the uh, part number. It's on Horizon Hobby. If anybody wants to share the part number, if they have it on hand, let us know. Put it down in the comments. Stock uh, uh, plastic oil shocks, guys, from Axial and Horizon. So, um, do, you, do you still say they're basically the pro lines, but plastic? Big boards. Yeah, let's check it out, guys. If you haven't yeah. seen the power wagon again up close, I can probably just lift the truck underneath right here. So here we go. You guys see? Let me pinch the zoom real quick. That'd probably be the best way to see. So there are the oil shocks, guys. If I put the truck down, you can see it settle in pretty nice. It's not, not bouncy. So you can't see it, Steve, but plastic version of these, basically. There oh, you go. Yeah. There's the part number. There we go. Thank you. Mic Micro Menace. Micro Menace. Damn, look how dirty we get it. But they do come with um, different uh, colored springs, guys. You can't see it. On the bottom, I, there's a, on the back is the green spring rate, and on the front is the red spring rate. And if you guys see up in, uh, down in Mark's screen, those throw line shocks that he showed you guys, they actually come with an even softer spring, which are the all black uh, spring with, with no color on it. And then they do give you the red set of springs, which is a little bit firmer. So the Power Wagon is the one that has the green rate. So you might have to get the stock plastic shocks if you want those green springs for right now. Appreciate you, Micro Menace, though. But guys, we're about to bring on our guests just right now. Um, stay tuned because we're about to see some cool stuff right now, some brand new upcoming stuff that's about to be released, as well as, of course, the giveaway. So do not go anywhere because if you want to win, you have to be here. And you guys will be put into the little infamous wheel.
Man, I'm so glad I got the wheel now. It's like, remember the old school times when we're just like, all right, everybody chat away in the chat. Oh, oh dang, I think Mark is gone. I'm here. We lost him. Oh, you're there? Doesn't say you're in there, but. but... Really? Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Weird. All right. We got plan. Right, here we go, guys. What's going on? I'm about that. to send the invite to our special guest. Hopefully, I can see his screen. I don't think I saw um, my guest's last screen last time. But you win and some, you lose some, right? <laughs> oh. You can we got a video on, but I don't see him, but wow. he's on. Guys. What's up, Yo, Chris? Mr. Chris, Mr. Flub in the house, guys. Please give a big shout out to Flub RC in the building. How's it going tonight, my friend? Oh, it's going good. Awesome, man. We know that. We're what in a new black got? and white SR5 right there. That's a thing of beauty. Yeah. yeah, show me. Let me know what you're looking at, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I just realized I gotta explain that. One. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we got the black SR5. This is for the Gladiator Lynx 155. It's a new remastered version. Bigger arches. Then we got the magnetic topper. Oh yeah. This is the one we're giving away. So none of the magnets are installed. They're just set in there. But Nice. So this, this uh, version of the SR series is a little bit different. I believe a couple of the changes that you did from this one that I have in my screen from yours is... I believe for one, the yeah. fender wells are open just a tad bit more. Is that right? Yep. Accommodate yep. some of the more popular sized tires now. Uh, uh, is it still a one piece body? Nope, it's a two piece body and it's screwed together. Oh, so what? Magnets, everything is the same, screwed together. But wow, dude. Sounds Three insane. screws this with the two screws, but there are spots for four screws in there. So, guys, with the long wheelbase and an SR5, you can see mine right here. Now that you got the topper, you can actually load up all the scale goodies. I know we had a, a J Teams. If you guys haven't seen uh, J Teams, shout out J Teams. He actually has his SR series all decked out with some flub accessories in the back. You can easily just pop it off for like a show and shine, the topper with the magnetic little magnets in there. And man, that's one thing about flub guys is that when you buy one of these bodies or when you support him, he's actually including a whole lot bang for your buck. Not only can you pick, um, even the stronger body option of the carbon filament now, guys. He actually, you know, you get what you get is a full little dash, interior, steering wheel, um, center console, seats. Uh, you know, you get the grill, you get the little lenses. And, of course, now that he's having more options to customize the body how you want it, just like the topper, and even if you just want a cab only SR series, that sounds so amazing, Chris. That sounds insane. Just gonna say that. Yep, bro. I'm mind yep. blown. Cab you know. only is an option. We offer the back plate for you guys. And the rear so. Yeah. And you can't forget about the root beer candy. Hi RC. Shouts out. Yeah. Oh, that's a must. <laughs> Surplus over there. That is cool. Guys, stay tuned because one lucky viewer can go walk home with one of these SR series tonight. So you have to be watching live in order to win. Um, now that blue one, 
that you that SR series you have, Chris? I can't see it. Is that the carbon version? Um, I got the black one that's on the screen now, and then uh, the blue one in the background is the new build. But we do have the carbon blue out, and we also have the carbon gray on uh, TRX4M, which also has the mag topper on it. Nice. And I'm wondering, let's see, J Team's in the house. The new front grill is on point. Are you talking about the new body? Should we talk about the new body already? Well, this is the remastered front grill for the SR that, that we're showing. Oh, no, no way. And it's got the uh, single side lens and uh, remastered uh, front lens, too. Takes a uh, three millimeter LEDs just for the headlights itself. Dude, that Same is insane. Dad, just, just remastered a little bit, cleaned up. And now the interior is pretty much the same as well. You know Different what I love about your new. Oh, sorry to cut you off. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say what I love about your new style grills is that, you know, it's easy to install um lights if you wanted to like I believe you said they're three millimeter yep yep three so, millimeter for the front and the rear you can kind of see the red through there for the, the the tail lights now but there are three millimeter uh spots for the leds do you, do you know if um like lit led Maybe he's looking into offering little light kits for the flood bodies. Because sure. I know he, he believe he has a, some UTB 18 and uh, 110H series options that he, you guys can pick from. Yep. Yep. He's got a couple of the UTB 18 and the 10 skill kits available. He does do, we've worked in the past with some older kits for the, for the original highlights. So for the headlights and stuff, we had all that that dialed, and there are kits for the old for the new Hilux too, tail lights and uh, headlights. I just don't have any installed at this moment. But no, that's definitely an option. Getting uh, getting kits made up for them. That's sick. And it looks like these new SR series bodies are going to be compatible with uh, like the Spectre Pros. Yes. Yep. This is the. They're compatible with any XL chassis. We're working on uh, mag sliders for the uh, Athos right now. We also just came out with a new mag slider for the OGRC skid that uses the two, like, uh, what we would call nipples from the old stock skid. Stick. So. So that'll be an option uh, coming soon. J Teams will be testing those on his new SR build in that chassis. So if you guys got questions on that, he'll be the one to answer that for you oh, yeah. firsthand. Well, that sounds amazing, man. I can't wait. I can't wait till they start dropping on people's doorsteps and. We see everybody's take on their their new SR series, man. Yeah. So should be a good one. And, oh, so, and, yeah, that black one will be the giveaway for today. Everything's all ready for you guys. Magnets and everything will come with it. And then, <laughs> uh, I don't know. When do you want to? When do you want to take care of that? We're gonna. I'm gonna start putting names right now, and they'll spin the wheel. Okay. And then. Um, we can actually, if anybody has questions for Mr. Flub, Mark will be reading and maybe shouting them out if you can, Mark. Well, he um, just dropped the, the M715 on us, so we're going to talk <laughs> about that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> real quick before the 715, I was going to say that it's pretty cool that, um, what say? Dude, I really brain fart. Uh, I think I did. <laughs> I'll come back to it. But dude, seven one five, man. I oh, well, I was pretty much saying that Flub is bet pretty much 
not just stopping right there, guys. You think is a new body release? He's already on to the next thing. And here we oh, go, oh, guys. Good. Do the grill on it now? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're working on something a little extra yet. But so what's this beast called right here? This would be the Kaiser M7 715. Yeah, so, that was cool. nice. yeah. Oh, yeah. optional uh, bull bar. Not quite sure how we'll do it. If it'll be an accessory or or what? We have some accessories planned for this and some other cool options. Uh, maybe do, do some magnet magnetized accessories for the sides for the fuel tanks. I'll share a poll yeah. stuff of what we designed it off later. But new grill, new dash, new seats, full seats and interior like the SR5, Steve. Uh, all new headlights, yeah, yeah. three millimeter for both. So you can do an orange and the clear. So you'll have four headlights. Tail lights I kept as one bulb because that's a little small. But. That was good too, though. Still looks clean. Yep, we're gonna clean up the rear end. Uh, give some departure. So we'll probably cut it right at the back of the fender, and that way you can get full vertical with it. So still a prototype, but it'll be should be finished up this week. Definitely a cool sneak peek on that new. Um, 715 body guys if you guys have been waiting for something like a, a Jeep or Because I know we're, we're a lot of big Toyota fans at Flub headquarters But you guys are still Jeep fans and stuff <laughs> like that or other sorts of fans. We got the Chevy C series You know, we got the 715 coming And we want to know too now that we got mr. Flub on here. Why don't you guys shout out? in the comments what type of body you guys would like to see next that'd probably be really cool i know there's a lot of people that have been waiting for say some sort of like overland rigs or something like that so yeah. just have to wait to see what we got down the road at the uh flub headquarters but, something overland yeah right um chris now i know we've been killing it with the bodies and stuff and now that you got the sneak peek showing off we definitely got to come back to the uh slime balls because man if you guys don't know what the slime balls are and you guys have been seeing your tires literally flopping off to the side getting all compressed all smashed in and you wonder why you're, you're slipping or something well these slime balls man these are the next next game changer for the your next 24 build and you recently just released the v7s that we kind of talked about last week um those are for the massive massive big tire guys they actually look pretty decent on like trx 4ms but for 24s man they're colossal but do you have those on hand you can show the yeah. viewers i got them in my hand right now for you on the one three enjoyer wheels we got, got the huge 70 millimeter Enjora tires here, the Swamp Claws. And this is one of our original V2 inserts next to that tire. So that, that's a cool, also a new upgrade, because guys, with, with the V7s, these are actually for the 1.3 speed locks now that, that uh, we've been seeing from like Enjora and other companies so guys who have been wondering oh how can i you know stretch a, a slime ball onto you know these bigger wheels these now that Enjora has the 1.0 plus style dude now you just made it even easier for people to to dial in yeah, what they need well, yeah these are, are set for the 1.3s um, I'm not sure what the diameter of the one point, the 1.0 plus, the 1.1, the 1.2, but we know for sure there's a 1.3 and a 1.3 tire. So, 
so that's why I decided to go with the 1.3. We'll see if people come out with 1.2 tires or if we're going to have to resort to stretching tires on different wheels or cutting tires. But if there's a tire and a wheel that we can make an insert for, I think that's that's our go-to. So we're kind of waiting to see what happens with that 1.1 one, one, and 1.2. One, That'll depend on you guys and what you like and what the market calls for. So that's a good time to ask the guys watching if you guys happen to have any 1.0 plus wheels um shout out what kind you have and you know if it's like the 1.3 1.2 because we definitely kind of want to find a general consensus of you know what everybody's kind of running because man they're now sooner or later they're gonna make one point <laughs> you know to the thousands of a decimal they want you to be all crazy exact now so yeah if we yeah and like the traxxas wheels that's already a 20 or a 35 millimeter so we have some options with wheels if samex is going to make wheels for it you know then that'll be more popular we had, do have plans still for this later this fall early winter to redo the line and i uh, give you guys all the options you need for every version at any width so that's sick and for these i couldn't see in the screen but um the v7s are they dual stage or like single yep, stage they're, they're a dual stage so we keep our our first stage uh open for conformity and the dual stage is always a secondary after that first stage runs out any longer first stage and there's there's compromises so that's why that first stage is always about that length. But second stage, it is a dual stage, reverse stage. So still get the, the forward propulsion technology, smooth contact surface, sidewall, brand new bevels. Very easy to see the bevel and the dish on there. It makes for very, very easy beating. That allows us to push the tire out and support it where we need to for that ultimate side hill. Yeah, that's one of my favorite features is the contoured beveled sides, guys. If you haven't seen them or checked out maybe like one of the later, uh, the newer versions of these flub inserts, guys, these slime balls, is the slight contour, the beveled edges is going to give you that extra little bit of stability especially when you're literally going sideways guys you're i mean this ethos with the hard body is pretty dang impressive you can lean it and the flubs you know they're not conforming they're not making me slide off side hills is just fun um these are the v2s inside these tusks guys and i think it's always recommended we uh vent the tires for the best performance to let the flubs work um but guys i do appreciate you hanging out with us um we do have flub rc and the chat or the poll is closed now so if you guys have been hanging out with us and still hanging out with us you are in it to win it guys so tonight uh flub has been so courteous and so generous we're gonna raffle off or not raffle off spin the wheel for the new version that he has on the screen of the sr series and since you know he only has one right now and uh we got so many people watching he's actually gonna bless us with an extra giveaway uh chris what are you going to give away for the second prize so we'll give uh, the second winner their choice of any slime ball. So any micro insert, <laughs> V1 up to V7, 1.3, your choice. You got a tire and a wheel, we'll stuff it for you. Sheesh. That's like amazing, guys. And of course, you know, a 1.0 size, guys. This is Micro Mondays. <laughs> we would love a. <laughs> Flub people performance are, pack. Of people course. are asking for <laughs> difference between green and purple, but in the slime balls, there's no difference, right? 
there's no difference in our material. It's the same exact material. It's just uh, color. That's all it is. It's a, it's a dye that's added to the material. Shout out exactly. any other comments you guys have. And, and we'll get those answered for you. Guys, um, with 65 You're still people. You're in the past like mini line with no foams, invented tires. You're missing out on performance. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are still, every tire I own has flub or slime balls. If there's any flub guys on here, go ahead and just write down your code, please. Um, we do have a code for you guys. Uh, this is just one time, so this is like a Micro Mondays exclusive. If you see it, you see it. But you guys can save on one time if you guys use uh, someone's code. If there is a flub guy in the chat. There's so at least five or six of them there. But for right now, guys, we got our names. We got uh, 59 entries. So if you guys were too late, you know, there's always next time, guys. Don't worry. Um, what do you say, Chris? Flub drivers eligible to win <laughs> or just pass it along? No. Oh, yeah. If it's a flub driver, we'll take – we already got those guys taken yeah. care of. So. Yeah. We'll oh, say, hey, good, uh, you won, but uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are in it. You guys know you guys are here. awesome chilling with us anyways. Um, again, guys, this, this is for the SR series. We're about to do it right now. So big shout out to Flub. We're going to actually, I'm going to load up my Instagram page. You guys, we have to check, right? We have to check to see if you guys... Follow the rules, which is mainly just follow, make sure you're following Flub RC, and we'll check. And if you are, then you, you win. So, all right, guys, shuffling the names. Here we go. I know I keep it long for the suspense, but here, here we go. All right. Good luck, and let's do this, guys. Shout out again, Flub, for the SR series. Who's going to walk home with it? It is. Now, please say you are here so we know you're watching live. I got No Man Crawler in the house. All right. Hey, no Man. Or is it, is it no you're man uh, 50% crawler. on the way. I'm about to search you. No Man Crawler. Make sure you are. I think I spelled him his name wrong. Let's see. Is he in here? Uh, hold on. Let me look. <laughs> if he's not, not in here, we'll just respin it. it. Says no man. Oh, I think it's, it's nomad, nomad crawler. Yeah. It's nomad, bro. Nomad underscore. Uh, like he's a he's flub. He's yeah, a flub he's driver. Flub. So nomad, we love you, bro. Your links are on the way, but uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to remove you. Up here. <laughs> All right, bro, bro. Hey, there's, there's a code in the chat. Grab it. Hey, code in Thank the you, chat, JT. guys. Scroll Thank up. You, JT. There you go. All right, guys. Here we go. You guys are stuck. God, we're doing, doing it to win it. In it to win it now. Who's going to take it? SR Series. Let's go. Who's going to win it? Oh, we got Skate. Hail Rock RC. All right. Please shout out if you are here. I'm gonna hey, uh, lick you up, bro. See Ripper. Hail Rock RC. There he is. All right. All right. Shout out if you're here, bro. Ooh. Oh, here he is. Is he following Flub? Oh, he is following Flub right there, guys. There it is. Scale Rock RC in the house, and he's following Flub. Congrats, homie. Is that a, is that a oh, we already have one. Have one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. Nice. I've seen that. Yeah, he's he's got that thing dialed in. That looks clean. Oh, look at that chrome, though. Oh. Molotovs, yep. Yeah. Damn. 
Yeah. I'm really like this one. Oh yeah, buddy. That is awesome, bro. Congratulations, dude. Yes. And uh please message um uh DM to Flub R C. Send me a DM too. So um my last friend. week's uh winners, <laughs> I got you guys. I believe it's my boy M dub. I still uh think your package went out today, bro. So scale rocks and flub, uh dirt and I a DM and we will get you some goodies, brother. Um gonna take your name off the list and then this next prize, guys, flub man. You guys just gotta say thank you, bro. He's about to hook your guys up with Make sure you guys go order some tires tonight. Remember, I say V22s or V28s. Hey, now that I have Chris on here, here's the trios, yeah. uh, Chris. Assume, yeah. These are the V22s in here. You yep. can see the squeeze is like a nice, like subtle, like air pocket. I would say similar to like a scrambler on um, you got them vented. V33s. Yeah, they're vented. It's that so they're super bead soft. That's pushing them out, you think, huh? The bead does push them out. If you can see my my bead lock ring, it was I battled it. <laughs> Looks like the tire is fighting it. Yeah. Yeah, you see the bead sticking out in the back. Yep. So. So oh, I would yeah, recommend I guys. B twenty two is probably close for that. And then you said otherwise the sandbox or the Traxxas would be the M twenty threes. Yes, which are right here. And guys, I mean you can't beat the uh, Traxxas ones or the Samix ones. I believe you can upgrade to the uh, Traxxas. The tire King looks a lot, a lot more. Inner rings. Yo, I honestly think the M twenty threes or the V twenty threes with the Traxxas rings inside is really really nice because you can see the confirmate the tire conformity is not so deep like like it doesn't squish all the way down yeah so it's proper it's really really proper but guys go order your tires because you guys someone's about to get stuffed with some slime balls right now <laughs> so and mark if, if you see any uh comments just shout it out and the, okay. so we can uh, see yeah, what's going on. Fire them off and then they stop for a second. Here we go. Here, here we go. go. Guys, who's going to win a slime ball pack? Oh, -ho! is he on a winning streak yeah. right now? There you go. Oh, yeah, buddy. M dub again. And with the dub. Sheesh. Let me uh, see if he's following. Wait, Just to make wait, wait, wait. Sure. what's wrong with trio wheels? I need a better than a throw up emoji for that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out if you're here, M Dub. That way we can uh, know that you are here, my boy. But are you are you following Flub? That is the main main question. I will have to probably just type it in real quick. He cheating. He got the magnet. Flub RC right there. Yeah, but there damn. we go, baby. Nice. Yeah, he needs to play the lottery, right? Right. M dub with the dub dub back to back dubs. Yo, I mean, the wheel is the wheel, right? You guys had a fair chance, and uh, I think that was pretty pretty fair. So. Guys, don't even don't even trip because we're about to blast all of uh, November with Cow RC giveaways and who knows? I think I ate those giveaway from Fine Line Crawlers. So guys, um, let's go ahead and give a big thanks to our guest tonight, Mr. Flub RC in the house, guys. Yeah. We showed up a whole lot of flub tonight, guys, and if you guys love your flub you guys love playing with your flub let me know <laughs> you guys got your, uh, your halloween builds ready oh make sure to grab if you already ordered and you got a pumpkin tag, tag flub and want to see those pumpkins lit up on the night runs guys and uh, we had to, uh yeah I, I think the last thing chris i don't know People in the chat kept asking for this. 
Oh, that grill. Yeah. yeah. I still yeah. got the file. There you go. Maybe you guys a go. Update. Maybe, I was going to say a 2.0 2 version of it. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking your new uh, Capra grill would look pretty cool on that, too. Yeah. No, we can figure something um, out. Four headlights per side is a lot, I know. So maybe and uh, just, we'll dumb just it down a, a little bit. Yeah, right. As a heads up, guys, something like, like little things like this, as always, it's, you know, get the hobby back in you. Sometimes it's not always plug and play, but if you guys maybe are interested in seeing little upgrade items from Flub down the road, uh, it's always send him a message or, you know, he's always willing to chat it up just like us. And it's been a crazy pack show, guys. It's been a, be a blast. Um, time flew oh, by. That is funny. A whole, whole lot of flub would be a good slap. <laughs> I like that. You That's know? <laughs> so, guys, we're going to close off with flub tonight. And I uh, want to say appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight. Oh. Mark, Dirty Customs, you grab your Dirty you Customs bodies. Get them ready to send them over. You guys need a paint job. Guys, kind of I'm about to send there, this because my boy Chris over here will give a discount if you guys want to get a paint job, and he'll ship them directly to me. Oh yeah, wow! You can, you guys, you you buy a body from Chris. Yep. You guys schedule a paint job with Mark, and he's got a code for you to purchase a body. Yep. So more incentive. See. There you guys go. I got a couple bodies. I think I need to send this one and this one to Mark. So let's get them busy, guys, for the holidays. And, dude, he'll, he'll deliver like Santa. So, again, bros, <laughs> much appreciated for a flub hopping on and dirt hanging out with us and everybody yeah. for tuning in the whole Micro Monday show. It's right. always a blast chilling with you guys. Brandon Feinlein, you know the rules, buddy. Yeah. Hey. Hey, stay tuned, guys. Next week, right. let's do the right ACOS giveaway, fine line giveaway, mm -hmm. and uh, we got a Cow RC stealth, new stealth series mat for you guys. We'll do a giveaway. Double. Hey, we'll double. Double. Thank you. We'll double. Yes. I appreciate Thanks for, for coming on, man. Yep. Appreciate yes, you. Sir. Hey, everybody, have a great night. Everything Take care. It's amazing, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peace out, brother. Later. All right, you guys.